It's it's honestly the 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 love for animals. You know, it started early on with, even with dogs. I have a really really hard time walking by a dog, especially a shy dog, where I don't want to just you know spend a minute with that dog to see if I get that dog to trust me. And it's the same in in dressage that. You know that feeling you can you can work with an animal they start fighting for you in the show arena you know they they win medals for you at olympic games it's just it's just incredible to have that amazing partnership and yes of course you you have to be competitive but there's there's always that limit to that where you say we're going to the olympics we want to try to get a medal but not at all cost it it has to be always fair to the horse and balancing out that tremendous pressure with your performance that is uh, challenging but also um, very rewarding and uh, just being able to communicate with the with the horse like that for them to do those extremely complex movements you know we get we get so tied into the fact how they um, need to do the movement, that they need to do it better and they need to do it at the international level. But we, we often forget that the horse just does it. I mean, it's, it's amazing the things that they do for us. And sometimes just, you know, I think when I ride a young horse, you know, just this first idea when they, when they learn to turn, when they learn to go forward, pick up a canter lead, even that is pretty complex for a young horse and then knowing what they actually do at the Grand Prix level and then do it consistently year after year possibly getting better possibly winning a medal I, I just appreciate how you get there and how amazing it is that they, they want to work with you that's the fascination and the passion in the sport